Hey everyone, this is a 10 win game I got using the pack. Uh, so yeah, that's why there's a bunch of new animals. The early game got cut out, but I start with a toucan chain. The toucan's ability is when it dies, it gives its food item to the guy behind it. So I put meat bone on one and it gives it to the rest of them, which is really nice and it's pretty cheap. And it usually does pretty well in the early game, combined with a bearded lizard which gets plus stats for every animal with a faint ability. So my goal in the early game right now is just to use this chain of two cans to stall until I get to tier 4 items. In here, I combine and get lucky. I get a vulture, which is really nice. I find it really fun to use it, and I think it's one of the best pets in the new pack so far. It's just like a better snake because you can just put it in the back and it will activate many times. You don't have to put it behind something and then it'll die pretty quickly. In that battle, you see it worked pretty well. Even with low stats, I still beat that pretty beefy team. Right now I'm just rolling because it's not really anything I need because it's still uh, tier 3 animals. So just looking for good food. But I'm mainly waiting for turn or tier 4 animals so I can get more summoners because Vulture works really well when you summon a bunch of stuff because lots of stuff will die. So here I unlock tier 4 and I find another Vulture which is really nice. I also find a Tapir which is really good. It just spawns the guy in the back. It's pretty good however it's kind of hard to spawn what you want because you're often not going to want to put something that summons in the back for the tapir to copy, but still, it's a free summon. You can prepare it and not get two summons, so the vulture is going to act more often, which is really nice. Here I find an anteater, which is, it works really well with the vulture because not only does it summon two animals, it summons ants, which gives more stats to other guys when they die. It's just like a better sheep. So here I pill this toucan, giving meat bone to three other guys. Uh, toucan early is pretty good, and then when you're done with it, you can just pill it, and it gives all of its food to your friends. And it makes for efficient use of gold. I have another tapir here, copying the ant eater, so it makes for a lot of spawns. And I tried a vulture team. And I win the battle because I kill his vulture first. Fighting another vulture team is kind of weird because you want your stuff to die so you could, so your vulture could kill the other vulture. Because whoever's vulture dies first loses the fight. Here I combine and find a tiger, which is really cool. So I could put a tiger behind a vulture and have it attack again for only level one damage, but that's still pretty good. Another anteater, just combine it. Hopefully get to level 2. And now this summon team is looking pretty good. I have a lot of fuel for the vulture and it's attacking more. Oh, here I find a push team and everything kind of just dies immediately. It's funny. Push, push teams cause a lot of chaos, but I mean, they make for wacky battles. But here I find 2 chocolate, so get that tiger to level 2. So the vulture does more damage, and I find an orca, which is, in my opinion, one of the best animals for summoning teams, if not like the best, because not only does it summon two, so it's just like better than the ant eater. It summons two any animal that has a faint ability, so it can summon animals that summon more animals, which makes it really good at summoning lots of things. Here my vulture dies to his, which is unlucky, so I just lose that, but that's okay. Vulture teams can destroy regular scaling teams, even if they have lots of stats, because the orcas, or whatever is summoning stuff, will summon a lot of stuff, because the animals in this new pack are really good at summoning a lot. Here I find another orca trying to level it up, and I find a white tiger. The white tiger is really cool. It gives the guy behind it, uh, just makes it level 3. So I save that. And here you can see the orca, uh, another push team. Good thing I 
I have a lot of summons so my vulture doesn't die. But end up tying, which is okay. That's fine. Another vulture here, so I try to get that to level 3. And I buy the tiger in front of the orca. So now the orca is going to be spawning level 3 animals. Level 3 vulture. And I find 3 tigers in the shop, which is really lucky. So now I have a lot of high level animals because the white tiger is going to fuck that orca up. As you can see, he had pretty big guys, but my vulture tiger is just constantly hitting him whenever my orca and parrot dies and creates more stuff. It's a pretty easy win. This time I just level my tiger up, not much to think about. In this battle, it's uh, another pretty DP team. Their woodpecker kills my orca, but that doesn't matter because that's kind of what I want to do anyway. So we kind of go back and forth creating more stuff, but in the end, Vulture wins. Because Vulture is just really good. Now there's not really anything I want to do. I just buy food. I get a pineapple on the Vulture, making it do deal 2 more damage. So now it should be dealing 8. And then the Tiger will make it deal another 6 every time. So yeah, it does a lot of damage. Here I find a koala and a triceratops, which is unlucky because whenever I hurt it, it just buffs it back up. So my team's kind of useless, but I still win, which is insane. The fact that I could beat a team that buffs itself when I hurt it is pretty good. Just shows how good Vulture is. Here I roll, I find another chocolate, but I don't really need it because the white tiger is buffing the orca anyway. But now have a pretty buff team. It's like a pretty ideal summoning team. Maybe the white tiger is a little useless if I could have found the orchids, but it's still good. It just melts through any big animal. And that leads for a pretty easy win. I'll show my pack at the end so you can see if you want to do it yourself, but it's not very optimized, so I don't know, you can make your own edits, see if you can make it better. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.